Welcome back to another episode of Candy Fresh. I'm Kalik. And I'm Anahita. And we got a real dope episode lined up for you guys today. We're going to focus on foods. For, for all my foodies out there, you're going to really enjoy this episode. What do we got for them? Ooh, we got conversation. We got music. And we got tons of snippets of what's going on in the Twin Cities, all related to food and so much culture. So tonight, I'm chatting with the duo, the one, the only, Beautiful duo of Keeping Up with Coco and Lala. Coco and Lala are here tonight. Yes. So exciting, so exciting. I'm also chatting with top chef of Handsome Hog from right here in Lower Town, St. Paul, Justin Sutherland's in the house. Ooh. Yes, sir. And I'm excited to do an interview of our three amazing guests also. First being Latuji's Palette. It's going to be really dope because she makes a fire, I mean fire, peach cobbler. I just had some Ooh, not too long ago. That sounds and man, so good. Yeah, it was so good you want to slap your mama. So also going on after that, we got Jared Brewington with the Funky Grits. Oh, my gosh. Man. I like mean, music you, or food? You, it almost feel like both. It make you dance a little bit okay, when you take a okay, bite out of it. all right. And to top that off, at the end of the night, we're going to have an amazing guest performance from Casual Confusion. You see the whole setup we got back here. This is going to be real dope. I'm excited to move my feet. Speaking of music, we cannot forget about our beautiful, special guest DJ tonight, fresh mm -hmm. from Paris, Michelle B. in the house on the ones and twos. There we go. So... I hope you're hungry. Oh, yes, I'm I starving. Am. I hope you guys are ready for the sweetest show in the Twin Cities because you are watching another episode of Candy, Candy Fresh. Fresh. There we go. There we go. It's that Candy Fresh got the new now next. If you a dope artist in the city, come on and get your shine on. Get your shine on. Candy Fresh gonna show up. Get your shine on. It's that Candy Fresh got the new now next. If you a dope artist in the city, come on and get your shine on. Get your shine on. Candy Fresh gonna show up. Get your shine on. back in as you guys can see we got a special guest with us right now his name is Jared Brewington and he has his own restaurant and it's called Funky Grits we're gonna hear all about it man it's a pleasure to meet you good to meet you thanks for having me tonight you definitely guys. definitely Absolutely. thanks for the time that you put aside to come visit us and tell our wonderful viewers about what you got going on absolutely again thank you for having me it absolutely. means a lot um, I was here two and a half years ago mm. in an old school Candy Fresh episode, old so it's school. good to be in another Candy Fresh episode now that we're open, because then it was when we were announcing that we were opening our restaurant, so yeah. fast forward, now we're on our three-month anniversary. Congratulations, Thank you congratulations. Very much. Absolutely. Give them a hand, y'all. It is not easy being a business owner, so tell me when it comes with that, like what was the thing that inspired you to start actually cooking and make a business out of it? Well... I'm from Southside, where my restaurant is. I was born and raised there. I got an 80-year family history in that neighborhood, and I come from a business background most of my career. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not a chef myself, but I've always cooked. I've come from a family where my mom cooked for six kids, and she went around the world. She didn't want us to have blank night. Right. Like I would go to friends' houses and on the weekend, and she's like, you're the same thing over and over because <laughs> it's Friday night. <laughs> right, Taco Spaghetti Tuesday. Spaghetti night or whatever it is, so... We had a, a world of experience, mm -hmm. um, 
but more than anything, I, I'm a musician, and, and I, I at one point combined my music business experience and culinary background yeah. and, 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 and put together a menu and put together a team and reached out to the South Side and told them I was coming and told them I was here and told them that that was three months ago. And right. it's been great, and the community's response has been what I thought it was. The South Side likes a hug, you know what I mean? Absolutely. That's a blessing. That's Absolutely. a blessing within itself. So when it comes to you building up the courage to create a space where people could come and eat and have good vibes, it's called Funky Grits. That's right. kind of how the name came up with your music background and things of that nature. Exactly. It was almost a reverse engineered restaurant. Mm -hmm. I was listening to some old, rare, soulful 45s, and I was like, I would call that restaurant Funky Grits. <laughs> <laughs> and I, and I, go I Googled it, and I was like, that's a dish. That's an actual yeah. you know, uh, a menu item. And... And, and I was like, well, the, the, the brothers were playing this music then were probably eating soul food because that's where mm -hmm. they were touring and the Chitlin Circuit and, right. and, 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 and putting out their 45s, the, 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 the low budget version of putting your music out in the streets, mm -hmm. you know, the tapes out the trunk style. Right, before the internet. Then. Exactly. <laughs> before Master P's movement. Right. <laughs> and shout out to Master P for right. leading the way. Mixtapes, y'all. In a roundabout way, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you bring that full circle. Man. But, you know, to me, I was, they were eating soul food, and I'm from Minnesota, and, you know, I'm a counter service, fast casual-ish, but we're yeah. a scratch kitchen, so uh, my dots connected with where I'm from, mm -hmm. you know, knowing soul food, inspired by the music, knowing comfort food and old Sold 120 beats per minute just makes right. food taste better, and mm -hmm. we we tested and we popped up and we worked with our my restaurant owner friends to 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 finalize my insanity because it's not a normal lifestyle to be in the food service industry on the line as yeah. a chef, as an operator, as a general manager, as a server, it, and and that's what I'm hooked into because it's family, it's right. a unique family, and anyone who's ever worked in the food service industry understands that you. You can go through a lot and have your your food service family just walk you through it in the weirdest psychology, but it seems to work, you know. And everybody's a misfit, and oh, everybody yeah. loves everybody loves each other because they know that there's no judgment there. And in our place, it's about love, and in from the out in out, that's what we want to portray to the, or it, not portray, exude to exactly. to the to the city and leading by and, example and and. The streets can smell a phony in a minute, so you know you got to come <laughs> correct. So it's been a wonderful journey to to be able to connect with a, an experience that made me feel like um, the Southside Pride has never died because mm -hmm. my family talked about it, my great my grandma talked about growing up in the house that I grew yeah. up in, and how everybody was connected that way. So. To me, the inspiration was already there, but it was a jolt moment when I popped up. I was like, oh, I'll call that Funky Grits. Funky and grits. I was like, it's real. <laughs> so it, it came from, a, a, you know, the, one of my silly moments listening yeah. to Eddie Hazel that night, you know. Who would have thought? <laughs> That's right? awesome. Late night moments. <laughs> and to touch on that a little bit, when you say community, because it's funny because when we were at, back there eating, I know we had a little sneak peek already. It's fire, by the way. But, like, I can taste I can taste what you're saying. Like, that's why it means so much to me, and I right. can really, like, visualize it. Because as I was eating it, it reminded me of home, like, instantly. Exactly. And I was like, wow. Like, how do you put that in the recipe, you know, like, to make a person feel a moment? Because that's what good food's all about. Good food tastes like the moment it was made mm. and the moment it was uh, reaped from the ground. Mm -hmm. um, and if you can translate that with nice crisp layers of fresh ingredients. Right. You don't have to call it anything special. It's just food. Sometimes what you eat is vegan just because it's from the ground, not because you made a vegan dish. Simple. Um, so simple, well, right? And, and simple doesn't have to be out, out of the world, out of the galaxy, crazy stuff. Right. Uh, I, I know what my vision was for it, and it wasn't to have a, a confusing mm -hmm. menu. It wasn't also a menu that I was saying, I'm soul food or this is Southern food. It right. was, I'm a, I'm a Minneapolis boy with a business background that cooks, likes to eat. I'm a drummer. And it all came from the weird background. So awesome. it, it, it made itself funky grit. So the community part mm -hmm. is unique to where I'm from. And that's all the people that live around there. They're all right. Southsiders. 
and and they're emotional about it when they get there and I'm like it's it's beyond me now mm -hmm. and it's still good food and good service absolutely you know? so it's, it's like on its own as a little part of it huh? yeah well it became its own moving thing after we opened that's awesome yeah so what's the best way of keeping in contact Okay. For your business, how to catch it, yeah. how to make sure we get there when there's events or things of that nature going on. What would be the best way to reach? I talk to the community through my social media, at Funky Grits on Instagram, same as uh, uh, Facebook mm -hmm. and Twitter. It's real fun realfunkygrits.com. Real Funky Grits. And funkygrits.com is what I meant to say. So, yeah, we're doing it. We got live music there. We do special events, and it's, it's, it stays right on. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Well, we want to thank you, first off, for yes. making that big leap. But, man, y'all going to thank him later when it hits his stomachs. <laughs> it definitely brings you. I gave him a hug right away. <laughs> That's okay. I tell him, oh, I have to put the plate down and give him. I'm like, thank you. Thank you. So, we guys, give it a round of applause one more time from Jared. Funky Grits. Check it out. You got to. Hello, refrigerator here on the red carpet again at Candy Fresh. And we are joined by Essence Jones, who is the producer of Crown Lens Media and the floor director here on Candy Fresh. Would you mind telling us a little bit about what we're going to see today on Candy Fresh? So you guys are going to see an awesome show. This is all about food, which I love, and I think you love too. I love very much, as, as that is my main use, is <laughs> putting food inside me. But we got some wonderful chefs, um, wonderful restaurant owners. We have um, a, a variety of different selections, whether you're vegan, vegetarian, or you, you eat meat, More which people. I do. I love meat. I'm sorry, as, I do. As, as, oh, all right. I, I'm the refrigerator <laughs> that eats people, like the horror movie. Oh, but uh, okay. no people on the menu today? No people on the menu today. All right. <laughs> we'll go vegan for the show. Okay, that'll be cool. Some great peach cobbler, though. I think you would like that. I love the peach cobbler. <laughs> but being on Candy Fresh, we brought a bowl of candy, some of which is fresh and some of which is stale. Oh, it's no. It's right here. Ah, it's falling out. Ah, look at that. <laughs> Would you like to try one? Um, Sure, I'll try one. I, I'm going to get my dark chocolate because that's what I... Dark chocolate like is, my favorite. is the only chocolate in it my is. book. Let's see. Is it fresh or is it stale? It, it's actually fresh. It's candy fresh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> with Essence Jones. We are dancing, we are chatting, we are eating, we are doing all things. We are back with another guest right here on Candy Fresh, Justin Sutherland of the Handsome Hog, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys, thank you for having me. So, hold on one moment. The Handsome Hog. Yes, so it's a pig-centric menu, but the handsome part, is it because you're charming and I, handsome? I don't know. I don't know about all that. <laughs> I think it was, no, it was kind of, you know, we wanted to take, uh, you know, as a dichotomy of restaurants. I wanted to take the soul food stuff that I grew up on, grandma from Mississippi, you know, and kind of eat that, you know, our food in, you know, in a different environment. So we kind of wanted to take this, this handsome environment and, and, and eat the soul food that we all love. So let's start right there. So what is the handsome hog? What can people exper experience right when they walk in? It's in Lower Town, St. Paul. It is. Close to home. Yep. Hey. And, and it's very pig-centric focused. I mean, it is. I would say, you know, it's probably about 50% that. The rest, you know, brisket, chicken and waffles, uh, grits. I mean, probably not as good as Jared's, but I think my grits are all right. But <laughs> I heard through the grapevine that chicken and waffles is probably the best at Handsome Hog. I, 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 stand, okay. I stand by our chicken and waffles 100%. Okay. So what can people experience when they walk in to when the... Uh, menu is, is served to do you get a chance to chat with people I mean talk about that experience I mean absolutely I mean I try and walk around and you know and be as engaged in my restaurant as possible but you know we I mean we, it's a bourbon bar so bourbon and smoke is is our tagline so we we smoke everything we have the largest bourbon list in Minnesota wow. so you know you walk in you get this this amber glow from the from the bottles behind the bar um, and you know just just eating that kind of food in, in an elevated environment 
Wow. So you are the executive chef. I am. You wrote and, and you're creating that menu. What inspires what people are eating? That's impressive. You know, I, I, you know, I, I like to take it from our experiences, from our community, from our friends, from our family. Um, you know, I've been doing this a very long time and was blessed with the opportunity to open my own restaurant, you know, three years ago. So I wanted to take the skill sets that I learned, you know, working from the other, you know, great chefs here in Minnesota and apply those to the food that makes me happy. And you don't just work at the Handsome Hog. You are everywhere. So can you just share with the greater Twin Cities and our audience, like what, so it's Stillwater, let's yeah. talk, let's brag about your locations real quick. Fair enough. Um, I did just open my second restaurant in Stillwater um, in, in May. Thank you. Um, uh, that one's called Pearl and the Thief. Uh, I wanted to still stick with the, with the Southern food that I love, but that's, that's Gulf Coast. Uh, Louisiana Southern, so everything mm. South Carolina, Louisiana. Some spice? Um, yeah, a little more Ooh, spice, a okay. um, little more fun, a little more music involved in there. Um, you know, a lot more seafood and just kind of that, that Louisiana vibe. We like that. And you have a fun announcement? You just acquired some more locations or I, another I did. Uh, <laughs> as of today, Whoop. I did. Uh, I just took over as the president of the Madison Restaurant Group and Whoa. acquired... So... Acquired uh, six more restaurants here in St. Paul. Um, so, yeah, I went from two to eight restaurants overnight. Um, so No big deal. I don't You're know. not an <laughs> overachiever. You know, I, I, I don't sleep. And, you know, I like to hustle until my haters ask if I'm hiring. So Man, that's what we do. <laughs> that is how you do it. So aside from Candy Fresh, he's going to be on a local TV show near you. Not local, but a TV channel near you on Top Chef and Iron Chef. Talk about your experience with that. I, I, that was nuts. Uh, Iron Chef was, I think, what, February? I don't remember anymore. Um, but, yeah, random phone call. Uh, phone rang, and they said it was a producer from Food Network and asked if I wanted to compete on Iron Chef. What? I was surprised how they got my number and made sure they knew who I was. Like, you know, this is Justin creepy, Sutherland. Right? What are you calling me for? But uh, So that was nuts. Ended up winning that, which was crazy. Um, thank you. Um, yeah, and then from there, I uh, got a call from Bravo and asked if I'd be on this season of Top He's Chef. He's on so. fire. That like airs that uh, food. this Thursday, December 6th, doing a big, big watch party, premiere party over at Handsome Hog. So everybody, please come out. Um, we're going to have a good time, and y'all can clown me while I'm on TV. <laughs> Man, give it up for him. That is so important. Okay, so with the food and the creation and, and the home roots and the expansion, what do you want people to know most about the heart and soul about what you do? Because it comes from your heart and soul. I, I think it 100% does. I think, you know, what I'm trying to do, I mean, I still, I still work the saute station at Handsome Hog on Mondays. I cook on the line and, you know, in Stillwater on Tuesdays. And I just think a lot of what, you know, what's been happening in our industry is kind of this top-down management. We've got these, you know, these people on these pedestals that are, you know, telling us, you know, how to work. And I just, you know, I want to let my people know, my, my employees, my community, that, you know, I'm a St. Paul guy. You know, I still work on the line in my restaurants. You know, I don't got the deep pockets. So the things that we do matters. And, you know, I'm... I'm, you know, I'm here to, to create jobs. I just, you know, I went from, went from 62 to 310 employees today. And no I, big uh, deal. You know, so I'm, you know, I'm helping, helping us put food on our tables. The same way, you know, it helps me put food on my table. So wow. I'm, I'm, here for, I'm here for us. You are just an ordinary guy that loves food and community because food Absolutely. brings people together. It does. But let's just take it back real quick. It is not always easy. You don't just wake up and get calls from Iron Chef and from Top Chef. So... I want to hear what's been one of the biggest obstacles that you've had to overcome in your journey the last couple of months and years. Um, you know, as far as obstacles, I mean, I just, if I believe in something, I try and, you know, I not, not take no for an answer and not, you know, if it's something I believe in, you know, there's always obstacles. And I think those, I see those obstacles as opportunities. And I think, you know, that's, that's what it's really about because you can, we can all do whatever the, whatever the heck we want. As long yep. as we believe in ourselves. So. Look at that. Look at that. He's just going with it. So how can people get a hold of you, learn more about your locations, and find out all things Justin? Ah, Google. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> Probably. No, I mean, you know, I mean, I mean, I'm here in St. Paul. I mean, it's, you know, handsome hog. Come down and see me. I'm always there. You know, I got the rest of my restaurants in town. Um, you know, other than that, I guess uh, sit on your couch every Thursday and turn Bravo on, but... And eat. And eat. Maybe Keep order eating. some. Maybe yep. call up uh, DoorDash or Bite Squad yeah, and get some handsome hog delivered and eat the food that you're cooking on, on Top Chef. Yep. Do you guys have any events or special uh, special events or community outings that you guys like to do? 
Uh, you know, there has been a lot. I mean, right now with with what's coming up, like you I said, a lot we'll on be your doing. Plate. Yeah, I do. I do. Uh, plate's big, and I don't like to sleep, and I like to work. The plate um, is big, like literally. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we'll be doing viewing parties every Thursday where we're just going to kind of, you know, shut it down, do a little party, trying to get the community out and, uh, you know, do that. And there's definitely a lot more coming, but right now I'm happy to be settled in at home, wrap my wrap my arms around the new ventures, and, and just keep being being blessed. Take some notes, guys. That is inspirational. Give it up one more time for Justin Sutherland. Thank you so much. We Thank wish you. you all the best. Appreciate Tune into it. Top Chef and don't go anywhere. We got more Candy Fresh coming right up. Red carpet with a plate of food. Plate of food. Tell us about yourself. Hello. I am cauliflower spaghetti. Cauliflower spaghetti. I've never heard of cauliflower spaghetti. Well, you just take cauliflower, you rice it, and you season it with your favorite taco seasoning. You add garlic, onion, and anything else that you'd like to add, and you fry it up, and then you add your favorite tomato sauce, and you put it over spaghetti noodles. And tell me, do you enjoy being eaten? Yes, don't I smell divine? You do, and I, I, I think I might help myself right now if, if that's okay with you. Will it put a smile on your face? It will, it will, and in my belly. Because you look so angry. <laughs> well, you know, I, I am, but I, I, I think after I devour you, I, I will be much happier. Please do devour. Hey everybody, welcome back. We got an amazing guest with us right now, Latunji's Palette. Man, give it up, give her a hand real quick, guys, one more time. And I'm saying that because before this, I tried some more food, y'all. And let me set the disclaimer. She makes delicious pastries and pies. And for one, I don't even like peach cobbler. Like, I didn't. And I tasted her peach cobbler, game changer. Literally, like, I'm like, oh, my gosh, you just, uh, tell us about yourself, please. Well, thank you very much, first off, for having me. Mm -hmm. um, again, my name is Latunji, with Latunji's Palette. And when you say tell me mm -hmm. a little bit about me. Yes, like your name. Sure. Your, well, what brought you to where you're at? Like, Absolutely. how'd you get to this point of curating for others, other than your household? What brought you to that point of wanting to share it, for one, with other people? Thank you for that question. Yeah. What brought me to the point of wanting to, wanting to share um, my peach cobbler, my macaroons, and all that good stuff with mm -hmm. others, my friends. Like, I would bake. Yeah. And they're like, Tune, I'm telling you, you can sell this. <laughs> and I'm like, really? So that's kind of how it oh, just man. really so I heard just it, happened. You heard it through the grapevine, right? He's like, man, did you hear about that pie she had over there? Man, so when it comes to that, what brought that idea to come reality? So what was the first step that you took? Because I know ideas start as a dream, but you got to work it into reality. So what was the first thing you did to make that push? The first thing I did to make that push was I prayed. Ooh. I listening? prayed. And Did I you? asked my highest power for direction. Because mm -hmm. I was like, you know, I love to bake these peach cobblers. Right. And then strategically, mm -hmm. I began to bake vegan <laughs> peach mm -hmm. cobblers as well. And it's like, where did that concept come from? It didn't right. just fall from the sky. Mm -hmm. So that's why I always say I reference my highest power. Right. Because I do seek the highest power for direction. Right? Absolutely. And so... In that order, actually. Yeah. In that order. <laughs> and so this summer, summer 2018, mm -hmm. I was approached by an amazing community connector yeah. in South Minneapolis. Um, South side? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh yeah. So Pastor Kyle Meadow, it was it's kind of funny. They um he leads a congregation, Calvary mm -hmm. um church, and they have an amazing farmers market, Whittier's yeah. farmers market. And we were meeting um about the other world that right. I'm a part of, which is like community engagement. And he, like you, tasted my peach cobbler yeah. and was like, hold on. <laughs> hold you on do bit. know that we have a farmer's market. I was like, oh, that's great. And he was like, no, it's not great because you're going to be there. Ooh. And you're going to be there every weekend. Mm -hmm. And so I just took this huge leap of faith. Right. I love marketing. I mean, HR and marketing, that's my background. So uh -huh. I love marketing. And I just put together my logo, said Latunji's palette. Mm-hmm. 
did all the paperwork. You already know because if, you if you're gonna play, time, if, yeah. if you're gonna play, you want to play right. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, every weekend there was a sellout, oh, no. and people were coming from all different cities, and it was just amazing how it all came together. Mm -hmm. Um, and so today, here we here are. Here we are. <laughs> well, the G's palette. That is and amazing. She's in a story. few different restaurants, and so yeah. And it's funny when you say like you prayed on it, and then lo and behold, you meet a pastor. <laughs> that was kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, right? you know how that works, and everything ties it together. Look at look at God, right? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> it. Right, every time. So with that, like when I tasted it, it was the ingredients. It didn't even taste like anything I've ever tasted before. Like. Mm -hmm. It was real. It felt like close to home. It felt like I wasn't even in Minnesota. I was like, where is that tree right outside? Should just pluck this, this piece from? Mm -hmm. Tell me about your ingredients and what you put in it to make that, that experience. Absolutely. So first and foremost, tons of love. Oh, you got to pour that all in there. You have to pour that all the way in there. <laughs> and I mean, seriously, this might sound a little different. Okay. But I literally talk. To talk. my peaches. Oh, she talked to the And food. I talk <laughs> to that nutmeg. And I talk to that organic vanilla, uh -huh. right? And um, especially when it comes to the organic coconut crust that I make. Mm. Oh, man. Mm, Have my, I put it. my gloves on. Mm -hmm. And I talk to it. And I'm like, when you, the person that encounters you, if they lack cultural competence, Ooh. if they lack what it really means to have diversity and inclusion in their spirit, mm. when they taste this, mm -hmm. let it, let them never be the same. And I do believe oh my <laughs> that's God. why. Oh, come on, give a round of applause, please. Please. Mm. And I do believe with all my heart, that's why that cobbler, yeah. I'm telling you, you would think so that's that we've been tasted. all the way around the world with that cobbler. Oh, Seriously. my God. You're spreading love in so many different ways, and we didn't even know it. Absolutely. Thank you. Oh my it's God. a purpose behind everything. We were talking earlier. Yeah. And I shared with you, um, again, marketing. Love marketing. Very creative. My desserts, they're all named. Yeah. And so my peach cobbler, she's named Harriet's Escape for a reason. Ooh, tell us about that. Um, well... <laughs> oh, yeah, we're we're going to get the snapping on here. So I shared with you that I'm deep into community engagement. Yeah. And I had to be real careful, but speak my truth to power tonight. Absolutely. Um, so I share with you how I was at home, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm baking and I'm talking to my cobbler. I'm talking to the peaches. And there was a, a, um, a season yeah. where I had an experience in a certain workplace. Yeah. And I spoke my truth to power mm -hmm. and instantly back, a black ball. Yeah. Became the game yeah. for this African American woman mm -hmm. standing right here with you, master's degree. Yeah. Right. And then there was this challenge. Right. Right. And so instead of backing down, right. mm -hmm. I guess I was led to my kitchen. Absolutely. You were led <laughs> to a greater purpose. I was led to my kitchen. I was led to a greater purpose. Mm -hmm. And so I look at it. Mm -hmm. As Harriet's escape, because when we think of Harriet Tubman, yeah. what we don't, what what she never ever accepted was her circumstance of enslavement, absolutely, right, mm -hmm. and rejection. Mm -hmm. She had a plan, and it provided her way of escape. Absolutely, you follow me, I'll follow and you that's 100%. what Harriet's um, escape peach cobbler mm -hmm. has done for me. And then right behind Harriet's escape, be, be, it, 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 we introduced yeah. the exquisite mixology. Mm -hmm with the coconut macaroon Ooh. because there's purpose behind everything that exquisite mixology and then the exquisite and then exquisite mixology's friend yeah. is the pecan cobbler without the peaches Ooh. dr t adams mm -hmm. philosophy okay. there's purpose behind all three of those desserts oh, purpose man. mind blown just like that <laughs> man can i get another hug i feel like <laughs> I feel like I know you so well. You done enriched my soul and spirit in here. What is the best way everyone can get in contact with you? How can I get another pie for one? Absolutely. Thank you for asking that question. Yeah. Um, you can find me at latungispalette.com. That's L-U-T-U-N-J-I-S-P-A-L-A-T-E.com. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. When you go to my website, it also you um, will find that we share the restaurants oh, awesome. that my cobblers 
and my macarons are available mm -hmm. um, for sale. Absolutely. And then also on there, of course, the contact information where you can reach out to me. Yeah. I love to cater. I love to do parties. Whatever you need. You there for it. We are there I for it. I got you. I want to say thank you once again. We really appreciate it. You guys give her a hand. Thank you. Much more than pies. There's love in them pies, y'all. So spread it. Spread the word. <laughs> thank you so thank much you. for having me. All right, guys, I am here with wait, wait. the ref you are here with. refrigerator. No, I'm here, and you happen to be joining me Damn. on the red carpet. Yeah. As, as I am refrigerator, Feisty. I am, I am the, the big time celebrity appliance, right? We're here for the food episode of Candy Fresh, A right? A feisty fridge is what I'm what I'm finding this to be. What? So how are you here? Is it because you like store food and we're talking about food, or? Yes, yes, I am cool. here I, as the the guest food celebrity and uh, hosting oh. the red carpet, right? And, and and you are what? Just the regular normal host of the show. I am right? Anahita Champion, a co-host of Candy Fresh. Speaking of candy. I love that you guys have a bowl of freaking candy right here. So, like, what's your deal? What are you, what are you doing tonight? Are you going to just, like, cheer us on? Or are you just going to eat all the candy? What's going on? I'm going to talk to people, eat candy, eat food, and, uh, you know, talk to more people. Are you flicking me off? What is I, this? You know, He's rude. I see it that way. That Otherwise, is not how you handle it. I'm pointing up. He's getting Raise lit. Raise the roof. Right? With, the right. with the bird. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, guys, that's another edition of the refrigerator in Anahita. <laughs> 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 uh, we're over here doing the robot. I heard that these girls can do the robot. At least one of them can. But I one know what us. they can do <laughs> is cook and talk about all things delicious and healthy food. Please welcome to Candy Fresh, Coco and Lala. <laughs> Who's Coco? Who's Lala? What's up, y'all? I'm Coco. And I'm Lala. Just so you know, because <laughs> I had made a mistake before. I don't think they knew that, but I in my head. But in my head. It was when we first met several, several months ago. <laughs> It's so, okay. keeping up with Co Coco and Lala, mm -hmm. it's a lot to keep up with. You guys are doing things. You think so? Or, I think so. <laughs> Let's see. You're both busy, hustling mamas. Mm -hmm. You are working a radio show. Yes. You are working your keeping up with Coco and Lala platform mm -hmm. and educating mm -hmm. all the Twin Cities on all things you do. Mm -hmm. Can we just give them some love for that? <laughs> Man, oh man. Okay, so let's just take it back real quick. How did you guys even come to be? Coco and Lala, how did you, are you best friends from long time? Were you like, I'm hungry, you hungry? Let's let's make some magic. <laughs> <laughs> how, did the, how did this duo manifest? You want me to tell the story? Yeah, you tell the story. Okay, so Lala had came over to my house for my birthday, and she had brought some cherries. Isn't that a wonderful gift? Like fresh fruit, right? Mm -hmm. And so Lala is also a gospel singer. Ooh. And I had a family YouTube channel. So she's like, let's go live, and we're going to talk about my music and your YouTube channel. And I'm like, well, what else? She's like, um, looking around the house, um, cherries? <laughs> I was like, OK. So we Googled some benefits of cherries. We went live. Within a day and a half, the video had over 900 views. You're kidding. And so we're like, well, maybe people really like cherries or we're onto something, <laughs> right? We didn't know what it was at first. And so we continued to go live. And after a while, it's like, okay, we're getting so many comments, so many views, we have to open up a page. Mm -hmm. And so we watched this documentary called What the Health. Now, they won me over when they said that your body treats meat like a carcinogen. Mm -hmm. And for you guys who don't know, carcinogens cause cancer. So I was like, I'm out. Mm -hmm. I don't need any more meat. And so that's really the story of how we got together. So not two peas in a pod, but two cherries on a stem <laughs> is kind of how this came about. Gorgeous yeah. and shining, vibrant yeah. ladies. So, okay, let's talk about your focus, vegan and vegetarian. Yes. So that was your story. Mm -hmm. And you guys focus heavily on educating, tons of perks and, and all the fun recipes and the do's and the don'ts. But what is that stigma that people really have of vegetarian or vegan diets? Well, one... I'm vegan. 
she's vegetarian. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times people don't think we can play in the same sandbox. Mm -hmm. Like vegans are just like tree huggers. <laughs> Do I look like a tree hugger or no, something girl. like that? <laughs> you know. Um, but I, I, and I think a lot of times people think that, you know, as vegans, you, you know, you just have to be a certain way and you have to be act a certain way and of course your food doesn't taste good your food is horrible it tastes like a rug Balls. or yeah you know right. or whatever rug. okay you know well yeah. you know that's what they think right. you know my family members because my family members are, are meat eaters and i think the cool thing about our show is we're not expecting everybody to become vegans or vegetarians where it's like sometimes vegans are like you got to be vegan and that's it and oh how dare you eat an egg or whatever right get over it people right you know that's our whole right. thing get over it right we want people to live longer we don't expect our family members to become vegan and vegetarians but our whole thing is maybe try it a meatless monday mm -hmm. don't tofu no i Tuesday. knew you were about to say that <laughs> i love the alliterations my girls i love it you know just just and you know tr try it and that's the the cool thing is our family members um are they're, they're trying different things yep. and they'll, they'll they'll say hey have you guys tried this and we're like no. We're scared to. Right. And then we will. We'll go out you and know. try it. And then I think in our community, a lot of times in the black community, it's like stuff, we want flavor. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. And and a lot of times people think vegans and vegetarians is like, it tastes like a rug and there's no flavor. You can only eat carrot sticks and celery sticks. Yeah. yeah. And so you we know. we're, we're kind of like, you know, I like using Lowry's. That's my favorite, That's you know, her spice. Favorite seasoning. She know. puts it on everything. Hot sauce, whatever, <laughs> okay. you know. So we try spice to bring stuff and, and spice it up and make it taste good. And then we taste test. And, you know, if Coco likes it, my family normally likes it. Okay. Because if Coco says it's good, it's good. It's good. Why are you looking at me like that? Because it's not always good. But, you know, whatever. But. Keeping up with the two. That's why they call it keeping up with Coco Mala. So it doesn't taste like a rug because no. you are vegan and vegetarian. doesn't mm -hmm. make you lame or a tree hugger, which is not a problem. Right. right. But that stigma of, and that's whack, or all the things that go with it. Yeah. So what are the benefits? What are the things that really push you and, like, make you just glow when it comes to educating people on vegan and vegetarian recipes? You know, I think that there's actually a lot of benefits. Um, we have seen some benefits ourselves. Um, I would say that eating more healthier, eating vegan and vegetarian, definitely more clarity, more focus, more energy. Mm. You know, you might lose weight. Your skin might clear up. You know, there's so many more benefits. If you might be uh, pre-diabetic, you know, you might be surprised to see that your numbers are going to come back down. Mm. And so there's been many studies that shown that eating a uh, vegan and vegetarian diet can improve um, certain diseases and conditions that you have. Educational. Very and good. and mm -hmm. full of brains and full of good food. <laughs> right. Okay, so what's on the docket for Coco and Lala? You guys are doing a lot of things, as I mentioned. So what, what can we expect when we tune into your channel or uh, the different things you got going on in town? I'm going to say that you guys have to follow us on social media to Ooh. keep up because things come on our calendar. We don't even always know until the last minute. Yeah. But we just got back from an amazing vegan food tour in Atlanta. That was our first stop. They mm -hmm. spoiled us. Ooh. Yeah. We didn't know how we were going to come great back food, to some things. Food. They literally spoiled us so great much. Food. All the love, all the support. It was an amazing adventure. We have a couple more spots that we have to hit. Atlanta, or Atlanta Part 2, actually, because okay. they had part so do. much part so do. much food. Part 2. Do. Do. What I language is that? I, I think it's German. Part do. We don't know. I mean, it's <laughs> like it's like global. So is there a cookbook or maybe a food network yes, show in the world? Speak it, girl. Speak it. I'm yes. saying. I'm yes. like, we're all about putting things out in the atmosphere. Yes. You know, we've tested and tried <laughs> over 250 products and recipes. Ooh. And so there are a lot of foods that we have altered and that are now our own and so we do want to put out our our cookbook of course you know we love the food network we would love to go on the food network i don't think there's another show like ours i don't think so either you guys are just so full of just personality culture you educate you're at your house right filming your episodes Correct. and then the next day you're at the radio station doing that mm -hmm. so let's reel it back to the core how mm -hmm. can people follow you support you and push other things into existence for you Wow. Well, you guys can follow us on Facebook at Keeping Up with Coco and Lala and on Instagram and Twitter at Real Coco and Lala. There you go, the Real Coco and Lala right here. Give it up for Coco and Lala. <laughs> Hello.
refrigerator here on Candy Fresh's red carpet with yet another guest here on the show today. Please tell us who you are and what you're all about. My name is Jared Brewington. I'm the owner of Funky Grits Restaurant in South Minneapolis. Ah, funky Grits. How funky are your grits? I have to say that it's the best grits in Minnesota. Ah, that's probably saying something better than like... Uh, I don't know where, where are grits the best other than Minnesota, like Alabama? Um, you know, down in the south. Louisiana, that's, that, Yeah, Georgia. you know, down there. Yeah. Down to the bottom and to the right of the United States of America, I think. So if we, if we went, you have a restaurant? I do. If we went there, we'd be like, whoa, we stepped out of Minnesota and into the south. We stepped into Minnesota and it feels like the south. More or less, yes. Grits are corn, and corn is everywhere. So what we do with it is our feeling on it. Grits can be done in so many ways, and its versatility is why we opened a restaurant to focus on that. That's amazing. You brought some food to show us today. I did bring a little bit of food today to show you guys today. So if you're here, you're looking at this turkey braised greens. We've got confit chicken, our cornbread, and of course, our signature, these are our yellow corn, coarse ground grits that are with aged cheddar. We also have grits with blue cheese and vegan grits that are creamed with coconut milk. It sounds very delicious. It is good. Would you like a can deeper I have sniff? Some? Yes. I would. I would love for you to have a it, little that bit. That sounds very good. I should I'm turn the plate so you can get to it because your hands are gesturing oh, for us. Here. <laughs> they are. Can I go Cookie Monster on it? I think you should just go ham on this. Blah 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 blah. All right, we are back, and as you can see, I came with many friends. What we got here to right now, tonight, is casual confusion. That's Man. what the world is today. Ooh, you ain't never lied. Tell us, <laughs> I love these guys so much. We had a chance to kick it for a little second. There's so much energy and so much cool, smooth flavor. Tell us all about it. Well, you know, I mean, they say we're the last of a dying breed, but, you know, uh, mm. we're just trying to wake up sleeping people, you know. Yeah, absolutely. They look at the news and like, oh, Honey, did you hear that? Another 4,000 people died. Oh, and they go back to eating their dirty grits, you know? But mm. hey, yeah. Absolutely. So what kind of brought you guys together? I know it's kind of, this is a crew, a mixed crew yeah. here. So what? Well, we are from the capital, M Minneapolis, Absolutely. MPLS. And so we're just a bunch of cats swinging from uptown to downtown, hanging mm -hmm. around and getting together, trying to not be in trouble so and make good <laughs> music. So yeah, we just end up quite naturally being around each other, dude. Absolutely. So what brought the name together? That's Casual I'm, confusion. Well, yeah. you know, this is pre uh, Hurricane Katrina, pre mm -hmm. you know, current administration. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. they don't speak. <laughs> but on you that know, anymore. we are really just some freedom fighters, and you know, decided to uh, pick up our machine guns, uh, our instruments. And, you know, that's gonna be our weapon. You know? mm -hmm. Man, that's powerful. Because there's too many body bags to, uh, you know, be using guns and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Find a different way. It's all about peace and love, brother. Gotcha. So when it, what brought you to the point of where you're at with this music thing? What, what well, was your inspiration? Well, my father, Bob? my father actually, yeah, I got Bob. Mm -hmm. I got Uncle Jimmy. Jimmy. And we got Bruce over here. But okay. my father actually um, grew up and was managed and toured with the Temptations for eight of the hottest years Ooh. in the road was well-groomed, so, you know, yeah. Motown's finest. You Absolutely. know, I'm from the Shaolin Kung Fu of soul mm -hmm. music, brother. So I'm David Ruff. Yeah, but and these are my cats, you know. I, I just <laughs> I just mess with cats my like and kind, so. Absolutely. Yeah, we ain't nothing to it, man. We're just trying to have a Marvin Gaye party. Oh. With no blurred lines, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> man, oh, man. Well, what's the best way of reaching you guys and getting to know what you guys make, your music, and how to check out the event? Well, you... You know, I always like to tell people to go on to Napster.com to download our album. Yeah. But in all seriousness, iTunes, Spotify, you know, every platform, yeah. um, Facebook. Um, just look up Casual Confusion and follow us. We'll, we'll love to see you at a show. How deep you want to go down the rabbit hole? <laughs> I love right this guy. Well, what are we trying to keep up with? Then? We're Please everywhere. Explain it. We're, we're everywhere. We're cooking all over on Facebook. We just got back from a vegan food tour in Atlanta. Where else have we been? Everywhere. Literally everywhere. Red carpets ourselves. In his refrigerator. <laughs> so if I were a refrigerator, which I am, what would you put inside me? Vegetables. 
Right. Vegetables. Lots of vegetables. Like what? Kale and tomatoes and carrots or like. Don't forget what? about cauliflower and corn. Oh, hey, I've got a question. Yes. Cauliflower, I remember, used to be like this boring, tasteless food that I used to not like as a kid. But uh, now I, I, there are different kinds. Do you know about the green cauliflower that has like weird fractals and, <laughs> and stuff like can you tell us about that is that genetic modification or does that happen in nature that might be more natural right the different colors we know is that a lot of fruits and vegetables come in colors that we've never seen before have you seen the purple cauliflower uh, no i have not see uh, do you have some for us to see today on candy fresh no. i don't have any of the purple cauliflower for you to see today i'm interested what what is in that refrigerator <laughs> what kind of food do you keep in your refrigerator well, well that, that's a secret, <laughs> and, and as, as I'm sure you know, uh, proprietary information is, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to let the other yeah, refrigerators. Like he eats lots of vegetables. Uh-oh. Well, actually, I, I eat lots of candy myself. You, you, I can tell, because you look angry. You yes, look angry. And, and my teeth have all, you know, look at how spiky I they are I think if he now. ate more vegetables, he'd have a smile on his face. I think so too. I think but, you should put that candy bowl away. But, but we've got candy here. Would you like some? No, we don't. Can do I that. get the vegetarians to eat some candy today? No. Ah, <laughs> denied on Candy Fresh. Without further ado, we're going to check it out. Once again, this is Casual Confusion. Yes, sir.
It's that candy fresh, got the new now next. If you a dope artist in the city, come on and get your shine on, get your shine on. Candy fresh gon' show up, get your shine on. It's that candy fresh, got the new now next. If you a dope artist in the city, come on and get your shine on, get your shine on. Candy fresh gon' show up, get your shine on. We couldn't have did it without you guys, all this love, all these beautiful people up here with us. We want to give a special shout out to everyone that came today. Latunji's palette. I got it. You know what I mean? Yeah, got it. Showing all the love. Oh, man. And uh, Jared Brewington with Funky Grits right here. Yes, and last but not least, oh, my gosh. We got Casual Confusion. They just graced us with their beautiful talent. Yeah, right. It was for sure, I, for sure. Now, last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, Coco and Lala were in the house today. Woo! Coco. Justin Lala. Sutherland was here today. Yes. Yes. We cannot forget our incredible red slash gray carpet host, the refrigerator. Yes, the refrigerator. Oh, and yeah. on the ones and twos, the one and only Michelle B on the, on the tunes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You guys are watching another episode of Candy Friends. Yes. Candy Fresh, got the new now next. If you were those honest in the city.